Most of us are still getting used to the recently released DeepSeek R1, which shocked the AI community. Now DeepSeek has released another magnificent open source model called Janus Pro. This time, it's a multimodal AI model that rivals other top multimodal models. In this video, we will explain the research paper behind DeepSeek's Janus Pro, titled Janus Pro, Unified Multimodal Understanding and Generation with Data and Model Scaling. To understand this paper, we also need to explain the preceding paper, which introduced an earlier version of the Janus model, titled Janus Flow, Harmonizing Autoregression and Rectified Flow for Unified Multimodal Understanding and Generation. No prior knowledge is needed about the original Janus paper. The new paper build on the previous one, and we'll explain both in this video. Both models discuss unified multimodal understanding and generation, so let's start with understanding what it means before we dive into the Janus model's method details. Large language models have demonstrated remarkable capabilities in many tasks. Building on that, multimodal large language models such as LAVA have been created. With multimodal large language models, we can feed the models both with a text prompt and an image. For example, here we ask the model what is my cat doing, and add an image of a cat. The model can then understand both the text prompt and the image, and tell us that the cat is trying to catch a fish. This approach has proven quite effective for image understanding tasks, where the model can assist with answering various types of questions about an input image. Let's take a look at an example from the Janus Pro paper for an image understanding task. Janus is asked about the background story of a cake that is provided as image. Janus accurately detects that the cake theme is Tom and Jerry, and provides its background story. Not only does the model understand the image, but it also leverages its backbone, LLM, to provide information beyond the image's scope using the general purpose knowledge embedded in the LLM. We've covered the part of multimodal understanding. Another popular domain is image generation. Image generation models are typically based on the diffusion model's architecture or its descendants. Known models include stable diffusion and others, which have already shown remarkable capabilities in this domain. These models can take a text prompt, such as a cute cat, and generate a high-quality image. With this, we covered the generation aspect, and we now have an idea of what a unified approach means. We already have capable models for both image understanding and image generation. However, there are significant benefits to unifying these tasks into a single model. For instance, using one unified model saves the need of loading different models' weights when our application requires both types of tasks. The Janus model we review today unifies the handling of both tasks within a single architecture, so the examples we've discussed are all supported by Janus. While Janus is not the first attempt to achieve this unification, we'll explore what methods make Janus more successful when we review its architecture. So let's move on to review the Janus architecture. The architecture behind the original Janus model and Janus Pro is similar, and we can learn about it using the following figure from the paper. At the core of the model, we have an autoregressive transformer, which is a large language model. The main design principle in the Janus architecture is to decouple visual encoding for multimodal understanding and generation. This is achieved by utilizing different encoders for each type of task. Other models that unify handling of multimodal understanding and generation typically use a single image encoder. However, because the encodings needed for each type of task are different, this approach often suffers from task interference, which Janus avoids. For image understanding tasks, Janus uses CGLIP to encode images. CGLIP is an improved version of OpenAI's CLIP model, which extracts semantic representations from images, making it suitable for understanding tasks. These representations are linearly mapped to the input space of the large language model. Similarly, for image generation, Janus uses an existing encoder from LamaGen, an autoregressive image generation model. This is a vector quantization tokenizer that converts an image to a list of IDs, each associated with a predefined vector. These vectors are mapped to the input space of the LLM using a trained module. Text and image embeddings are concatenated to form the input sequence to the LLM. Text output for image understanding tasks is generated using the LLM's built-in prediction head. For image generation, another head is added to the LLM to consume its last hidden state. The image generation is performed using a rectified flow method. This is not a video about rectified flow, but to provide an intuition, think about how diffusion model works starting from a noise image and gradually removing noise from the image until we get a clear-cut image. Rectified flow 
tries to find shortcuts and reduce noise in a way that significantly reduces the number of steps needed to reach a clear image. This explains why there is an image encoder in Janus for the image generation task since initially it encodes a noise image and in each iteration it encodes the less noisy image obtained from the model. We'll now proceed with discussing Janus training process and results but before, if you're finding this content valuable, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button to support the channel. We also send one minute read summaries by mail about the papers we review here. You can find the link to join in the description of this video. Let's move on to understand the training process. We'll use the following figure from the original Genus paper and explain what is different for Genus Pro. Both Genus and Genus Pro are trained in three stages. The purpose of the first stage is adaptation of the new modules to work properly with the pre-trained components. To do that, the weights of the LLM and the image encoders are frozen. Only the newly introduced components are trained. These components are the ones that map the encoded images to the LLM input space and the image generation head. This stage trains the model on ImageNet to generate images based on the image category. The training steps on ImageNet are increased for Janus Pro in this stage. In the second stage, called Unified Pre-Training, we continue to train new modules, but now we also train the large language model and its built-in text prediction head so it can better handle multimodal embedding sequences. The sample types included in this stage are multimodal understanding, image generation and text-only data. The difference in Janus Pro comparing to Janus is the removal of ImageNet from this phase directly utilizing text-to-image data, while in the original Janus model, this stage started with ImageNet data and gradually increased the ratio of text-to-image data. It is worth mentioning that the image encoder representations are aligned in training with the image generation latent output to strengthen the semantic coherence in the generation process. The third stage is supervised fine-tuning on instruction tuning data, which comprises dialogues and high-quality text-to-image samples. In this stage, the image understanding encoder is also trained and there is no change in the process between Janus to Janus Pro. Additional main changes in Janus Pro are scaling up of the data size utilized in training and model size. For model size, the LLM was scaled up from 1.5 billion parameters to 7 billion. Let's now explore some of the results presented in the Janus Pro paper. In the following figure, we can see performance comparison of Janus Pro with other strong models. The left chart shows multimodal understanding results where the x-axis represents the model size and the y-axis represents the average accuracy across multiple benchmarks. Impressively, the 7 billion parameters Janus Pro outperforms other top models such as Lava. What makes it more impressive is the fact that this is achieved using a unified model while the Lava models are not unified. Janus Pro significantly outperforms previous unified models such as Show and slightly outperforms the unified model TokenFlow XL while being almost half of its size. The chart on the right shows text-to-image generation results on two benchmarks. Janus Pro outperforms top image generation only models such as DALI 3 and SD3 Medium. It also outperforms the previous state-of-the-art results for image generation of unified models which are not shown in this chart. Finally, in the following figure from the paper, we can see comparison examples of text-to-image generations between Janus Pro and its predecessor, which show a significant improvement in quality. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more reviews of AI papers.